in this example, what you're basically going to do is identify first the degree. To identify the degree, you have to make sure that your, is, your polynomial is in descending order, meaning you have the largest power first and then going down the line. That is correct. I have my lowest power first. Could everybody pay attention here just so we make sure we're on the same page? So my degree in this case is 5. My leading coefficient is the coefficient of my um, exponent with the highest power, which is negative 1 7. Does everybody follow me with that? Okay. So now, since my degree is 5, I know that is odd. Since my degree is um, a negative 1 7, it's negative. Now, if you do not already have this memorized, you can basically look at this and see what the sketch of the graph would kind of look like, right? Or I even did some, I even did it labeled here and there for you on the front side. But basically, I know what this graph is going to, I know what a kind of sketch of this graph is going to look like. It's going to look something like this. You don't need to show me what the graph looks like. But you do need to tell me, because as I mentioned, as x goes towards negative infinity, f of x approaches what? As x approaches infinity, f of x approaches. And that's, you guys are going to write this down every single, for every single one of those problems. You're writing that down. You're writing that down. Because all that is really saying in like normal people terms, not mathematic terms, as, as the coordinates of x, as the coordinates of x, these little dots, right? These are these coordinates. They, each coordinate has an x and a y coordinate, right? Or an x and an f of x coordinate. As these coordinates go, well, let's do negative. As these coordinates go to negative infinity, that means they're getting more and more negative. As they go to the left, what is the other coordinate doing? The y coordinate or the f of x coordinate? Is it going up or is it going down? Up. So it's actually, so the y coordinates here, so if it's going to go up, it's going to keep on going up, which is going to go towards infinity, positive infinity. Now, let's do the next one. Now, as my x coordinates are going to the right, that means they're going that way. They're going to go towards infinity. What are my other coordinate doing? Is it going up or is it going down? It's going down towards negative infinity. So the only thing that's going to differ for all of those problems is obviously what is the leading coefficient and what's the degree, and then what I wrote down in red. But what I write down in black, that's all you guys need to write that down. You might as well write that down for every single one of those problems. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches. As x approaches infinity, f of x approaches. And then you just need to determine does it approach infinity or does it approach, neg does it approach infinity or negative infinity? Infinity or negative infinity. And you're basically looking. If it approaches infinity, that means it's going up. If it approaches negative infinity, that means the graph is going down. Well, how do you know if the graph is going up or down? I gave you some examples up here, right? I gave you like those four quadrants. You can determine if it goes up or if it goes down. Does that make sense? OK. The other thing I wanted to express to you is we didn't do one of the